back to the nights we felt alive Picking up the pieces on a summer night I didn't know that I would feel just like my heart's on fire Whenever I'm with you Cause we go back in time to thrills I miss And all the things I wish we did All I know is that I need somebody like you Cause I can't waste another night sitting here alone Hoping for your voice on the telephone I know it's a super cut as you walk away Playing in my mind all the things I'd never close my eyes And the skies are on fire I can't waste another night sitting here alone We can do it all again and I'll never let you go Take me back to another sunrise Back when all I ever needed was by my side You're a star brighter than Venus, I'm your satellite Whenever I'm with you Cause we go back in time to thrills I miss And all the things I wish we did All I know is that I need somebody like you Cause I can't waste another night sitting here Hoping for your voice on the telephone I know it's a super cut as you walk away Playing in my mind all the things I never close my eyes And the sky's on fire I can't waste another night sitting here alone We can't do it all again and I'll never let you go
All right, we're all here today to celebrate the love between Alexis and Taylor. It's hard to do better than seeing two people celebrate unconditional love. You're all here today not just for the love for them, but their love for their friends and family, and to take part in this special day in their lives. We're all fortunate not only to know Alexis and Taylor, but to know how special the love they share is. And to begin today, we will share a reading they've selected expressing how they feel about their bond and the commitment they're making today. A passage from The Alchemist by <laughs> Paulo Coelho. When he looked into her eyes, he learned the most important part of the language that all the world spoke. The language that everyone on earth was capable of understanding in their heart. It was love. Something older than humanity, more ancient than the desert. What the boy felt at that moment was that he was in the presence of the only woman in his life, and with that, no need for words, she recognized the same thing. Because when you know the language, it's easy to understand that someone in the world awaits you, whether it's in the middle of the desert or in some great city. And when two such people encounter each other, the past and the future become unimportant. There is only that moment and the incredible certainty that everything under the sun has been written by one hand only. It is the hand that evokes love and creates a twin soul for every person in the world. Without such love, one's dreams would have no meaning. Alexis, I love you. I have loved you from the day I met you. The moment you got into that car, my life changed. Little did I know that the woman who helped me drink that entire bottle of rumple mints was going <laughs> was going to be the woman I spend the rest of my life with. I stand here in front of our families and our friends to say that I love you and I want to spend my entire life with you. I will be here for you every day, no questions asked. I will always give you my everything. I, I will kill all of the bugs in the house. I will always let you put your cold hands and feet on me to warm them up. I vow to always get you ice cream whenever you ask. And most importantly, I vow to love you always, no matter what, sick, healthy, rich, poor. I will always love you. I will lo love you even when I hate you. <laughs> no running, ever. No one walks out. To take care of you even when we are old, smelly, senile, and even if we forget each other. This is forever. Taylor, I'm not sure how many times I had prayed for a love like ours. I wasn't entirely sure I deserved a love like yours. But four years ago, we were at the same place at the same time, and the rest is history. I watched you grow into not only a kind and compassionate man, but amazing father to our son. I promise to grow with you and build with you a better life each day, even when it's football season. <laughs> I vow to love you and our family unconditionally. You're my best friend, my go-to literally my go-to because I can't math. <laughs> but in all seriousness, everything in me recognizes your heart as home. I thank you for always being my safe place and I promise to always be yours. I love you. Taylor, do you take Alexis as your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Alexis, do you take Taylor as your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor him, keep him in sickness and in health, and to be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Good, glad. Stupendous. <laughs> Today, Alexis and Taylor will be exchanging rings. Alexis and Taylor, like your vows, these rings will be a reminder of this day and your commitment and love for one another. Taylor, place the ring on Alexis's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love my faith and our strength together. Our faith and strength together. And my covenant to learn and grow with you. And my covenant to live and grow with you. Close enough. <laughs> Did I mess it up? Yes, it's good. okay. It sounded good. Alexis, place the ring on Taylor's finger. Yes. And repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. My faith and our strength my faith and our strength. And my covenant to learn and grow with you. And my covenant to learn and grow with you. I feel like that's what I said. <laughs> I didn't feel like it was, though. All right. I wish that came out of my mouth. <laughs> now that Taylor and Alexis 
have made their lifelong promises to each other and have exchanged rings. They've chosen to symbolize the joining of their two lives by participating in a very special ceremonial ritual. You may not realize it, but a good whiskey is like a good marriage in many ways. Now stay with me here. It warms you from the inside, gives you strength and confidence, and helps you face the difficult situations with a little bit of ease. So now I need all of your assistance as we cheer Taylor and Alexis on. Taylor, you want to pour the shots? Now, as you're pouring the shots, I'm going to get them ready. I'm going to say ready to go. And everybody's going to go one, two, three, cheers, and they're going to take the shots. All right? Make it loud. <laughs> Make them wonder what we're doing there, so. <laughs> More? <laughs> More! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need to switch up. Why? All right, everybody, ready? Go! One, two, three, cheers! <laughs> in the presence of your family what? and friends, you have joined yourselves in marriage. I declare your marriage is valid and binding, and rejoice to recognize you for the first time as Mr. and Mrs. Marvin Taylor Wetzel. Can you make this your bride? What are we doing?
first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out and joining us on this special day for Taylor and Lexus. That means a lot to us. Woo! <clears throat> for all those who don't know me, I'm Patrick Cassie. And when Taylor asked me to be the best man, I was beyond excited. Now for me, I knew what be the best man meant, so I was ready to accept the challenge. Typically, this is for like a family member or someone who we've had a childhood friendship with. Now for all those who know me and Taylor's friendship, you know, me, neither one of us had that. So me and Taylor did not have a friendship until November 2012, when I first started Dog Foods. I walked in, I was nervous like I am now, not gonna lie. Walked in, I looked across the room, there's Taylor. So I walked over, everything's good. Later on that night, he tells me, hey, let me ask you a question. He's like, do you like to party? <laughs> After that, me and Taylor were inseparable. We were a dynamic duo. <sighs> now I have so many stories to tell you about what happened between the two of us, but not enough time, obviously. <clears throat> Taylor moved to Tennessee, uh, Dyersburg, Tennessee. I was torn apart. Like, that's my best friend, he's gone. So we made an agreement that me and him would be together anytime we came home. So I get a call from Taylor. He says, hey, I'm gonna be in town. I got something I'm really important that I need to tell you. All right, that's fine. So later on, I meet Taylor at the bar. He said, hey, I met this girl. I'm in love. That, that's just how it is. <laughs> so for me, for Taylor to tell me that, I knew that this moment of this girl that he's been talking about is very, very special. So I asked him, I was like, all right, let me see a picture of her. Taylor, Taylor gets a photo. <laughs> Taylor pulls out his phone and said, Joe. <laughs> Taylor pulls out his phone. <laughs> Taylor pulls out his phone, shows me a picture of Lexus instantly and starts shaking my head. No way. <laughs> and I was like, there is no way this girl is out of your league. She's too beautiful. And there is no way you grilled her in with that. Come see me live. <laughs> So the next thing I said, dude, you're not together. So I was like, show me a picture of you two together. <laughs> Taylor, Taylor gives me his phone. All right, now it makes more sense to me. Taylor looks drunk in the picture, so I was like, all right, this man finally went across the room, asked the prettiest girl in the bar to take a picture with him. <laughs> Still, I'm not Taylor, And at this point, Taylor's getting mad with me. So I was like, all right, I'm putting on a final test. So I was like, hey, show me the news. Taylor takes his phone swipe to the right. All right, that's enough for me. Y'all together. <laughs> All jokes aside, not a single person in this room is happy for what you two have been through and what you accomplished. Taylor, I've always thought that even though you haven't hit the mega millions, you always hit the lottery with Taylor. I mean, with Alexis. <laughs> and we, hey, let's be real. We all know that Taylor got the best part of this whole relationship. Alexis, you're the best thing that has ever happened to Taylor. And when I mean, I mean, you're the best thing. I've been there from Taylor from this, let's just say right after when we started hanging out, he's never had a girl that has even compared to you. Actually, I saved him from his first uh, shipwreck, that's what I was saying. <laughs> Watching the love that you have for both Taylor and Matt is more exciting than watching Taylor's hair grow back. <laughs> now on behalf of everyone here today, <laughs> may we wish you both many, many years of happiness and a long, fruitful marriage. So if you all like to stand, raise your glasses and join me in a toast that, to say congratulations to the Mr. and Mrs. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the bride and groom. I don't even know how to follow that. That was really good. <laughs> it was really good. I'm worried now. Okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> I'm Sarah. I'm Alexis's sister. Um, woo! I'm better known as dad's favorite child. I'm just gonna put that
that out there. <laughs> uh, when I found out that I was going to be a big sister to a little girl, I was really excited because I had all brothers. Um, that lasted until Alexis was born. <laughs> uh, she was a hateful child, so I tormented her to no end. Um, anyway, she grew into a teenager and we bonded over the same taste in music and all these life-changing events happened and we got really close. Um, I remember the night she met Taylor and <laughs> She, I remember that night, you guys don't, but I do. Uh, she texted me from across the bar, and she said, who is this guy? What's his name? He's so hot. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure since that day, you guys have not been apart, like, ever. So, um, okay. <laughs> If I could have any wish for my daughters, because I have three daughters, is I hope they have what we have. Because there's not a day that goes by that her and I don't talk. We talk every day. And there's nobody else in the world that's going to be there for me like a sister. She has my back whether I'm right or I'm wrong. She doesn't care. She's there for me. She has my back. Doesn't matter. Um, Say that I'm thankful for you is not enough. I love you so much, and I would not go through this world without you, not even for a second. Uh, Taylor, <laughs> my sister is a pain in the ass. <sighs> if, if she doesn't say it, I'm gonna say it for her. We appreciate you so much <sighs> for taking care of her, for loving her. <laughs> and being a wonderful father to Maverick. We appreciate you for taking her off our hands. Oh my God. <laughs> I wish you guys a decade of happiness, decades of happiness, and I love you so much. Cheers. <laughs>
Yeah, it's enough.